Have you ever wondered how animals are able to search for food in harsh environments? With already scarce resources, extreme temperatures that can make foraging both dangerous and difficult, and frequent storms that often make movement almost impossible, it's a wonder that they can survive at all. But what if these conditions were repeatable? Could animals learn to use rules to predict these conditions? As humans, we are very familiar with rule learning. It's basically taking any previously learned experience and transferring that information to a new context. However, we're less sure to what extent animals can learn rules and if they're capable of learning complex abstract rules. These are the ones that depend on the relations among relations, or basically it involves generalization based on the relationships between or among stimuli, not just on the specific physical characteristics. A great example of this are the concepts of same and different, which can be applied to countless different situations and types of objects. And we do know that birds and other animals are capable of learning to discriminate between same and different concepts. However, this is where it gets a little tricky because sometimes the cognitive trait that you think you're testing is not actually what's being measured or used by the animal to solve the task. On this same different task, an alternate strategy could be simply selecting against pairs of images that have a black and white image present or using other perceptual cues instead of an abstract rule. So we designed a spatial temporal task to explore whether wild mountain chickadees could learn an abstract rule. We then looked to see if they could learn to use this rule in order to make predictions across days. The key to the experiment was using these smart feeders. These are basically feeders equipped with radio frequency identification technology that could detect any bird banded with a pit tag. As you can see here, these color tags that have a passive integrated transponder tag and allow us to not only identify individuals who land on the feeder perch, but also control access to the food within the feeders by programming which birds would trigger this mechanized door to open and allow the birds to feed. We then assembled these smart feeders in arrays of eight feeders per array and put these out in the wilderness. To make it a spatial task, we give each bird one rewarding feeder at a time, and they have to figure out where this is based on eight other identical feeders using only spatial cognition. Then to add a temporal component, we switched where that feeder assignment was every single day. We don't change the actual feeder location, we just reprogram it. And then to add the third component, we always rotated in the same direction every single day where that feeder would be located. And this created an abstract pattern that birds could only solve if they were able to remember where the feeder was located previously and which direction was moving so that it can move in that same direction. Now, let's see what birds did. Did they learn their daily rewarding feeder? To look at this, we looked at their trial one performance. Trial begins when they visit any feeder at the array and ends when they visit the correct rewarding feeder and get a seed and then leave to cache or consume that elsewhere. When any incorrect locations they visit along the way, we call that a location error. And we saw that birds on average in that first trial each day made about three location errors. And this was pretty consistent across all 34 days of the trial. But by trial two, the birds knew exactly where that was and they consistently returned making almost no errors to that same feeder every single day. Now, what about the abstract rule? How do we determine that? Well, if birds don't know where the feeder is, we would expect them to go to the same place they previously received food the previous day. We call this a reversal error. And at this point, we can look and see where they intend to find food. So if they go backwards using memory, they might visit the feeders in the order of memory recency from previous days. Or they might move forward using an abstract rule to instead move in that opposite direction. And this is exactly what we see. And importantly, we see a difference in behavior across the task. So at the beginning of the task, birds were less likely to move in that correct direction of rotation and were more likely to move in the direction of memory towards those previously rewarding feeders. And by the end of the task, this had switched and they were much more likely to go in the correct direction of rotation, appearing to use that abstract rule. Although we didn't see any evidence that chickadees could learn to use a rule in order to make predictions during the task, this is still very exciting. These results show that chickadees were able to both learn and use an abstract rule to forage more efficiently on a cognitive task conducted in their natural environment.